Did you want to concentrate in any one medium? Were you looking to work mainly on the stage or in film or in television? Well, it, it's all bound up with what was happening in my life. Uh, I was commissioned into the army because everybody went in the army. I was a second lieutenant in the Royal West African Frontier Force, which was stationed in Accra, Ghana, which back then was the Gold Coast. So the regiment was the Gold Coast Regiment, a very distinguished regiment of uh, Africans who during World War II were known the, you know, communication wasn't quite the same as we have now. So they were runners. They would run and take messages. And they were known for their speed and their ability to take messages. And, and it was a wonderful, wonderful experience. And up to then, you know, I'd done whatever I had done, uh, mostly stage management. Um, the last one, job I had was stage managing the Aylesbury Repertory Company, which meant taking the sets off the train from London, putting them in a pile somewhere, taking the one on set stage and putting it on the train and then bringing it in, setting it up. And you had to open the next day in front of an audience. The actors were rehearsing somewhere else. That was mainly what I was doing. So when I came back, I was very upset because I tried to put on the clothes that I wore before I went into the army, and it was a disaster. And I felt so like a fish out of water. But one person, a lady by the name of Hazel Vincent Wallace, had promised me a job in a theatre as a stage manager. And I look forward to that throughout my time in Africa and other places. And when I went down to Leatherhead, where she was, um, I went in and she told me what the job was. They needed a new switchboard installing and they needed this, that, and that. I said, yes, I can do that. I mean, I'm, what, 20 years old or something ridiculous. And she said, and she quoted how much she was going to pay me, which was ludicrous. That's the only word I can say. And she was taking full advantage of the situation. Because jobs were, you know, after World War II, every young man who was an actor who, or who wanted to be an actor came back and flooded the repertory theatres and flooded the provincial. You, you know, there, there was, getting a job in was very difficult. And that's when I applied at that point to Chesterfield and became stage manager there and eventually the chief electrician of that theatre for a year. But so everything I did was involved with the theatre. And when you do repertory, you know, you're not just, you play parts. If there's a delivery man who brings something, you get the part, you know. And, and that... that Every single play that we did was just wonderful, and many of them were the classics. Um, from there, you know, fade in, fade out, as they say, a ridiculous expression. Um, I ended up at the Oxford Repertory Company as an actor for the first time. That was the first time with Michael Bryant, who um, I believe now is at the Royal Shakespeare Theatre. Um, Michael Rawlinson, I mean, there were a lot of wonderful actors there. And um, we did a Jean Nuit play where I had to kiss Michael in front of the entire audience. Very French, the whole thing. And um, but, but the thing, I have great memories of there. And from there, um, basically, I went into the army for two years. But when, it, when you come out of the army and you're in this limbo and Hazel Vincent Wallace has turned you down um, by virtue of what she was offering. I went home and I didn't know what to do. I, I was lost, completely lost. I got myself an agent called Derek Ma and Derek Ma got me a part. He got me a part in a movie, that's right. It was in Freud with Montgomery Clift. And I met John Houston, and John Houston said, yes, I want to the play it. And he went off to Ireland to play golf. Now, the production company was now produced, came to my agent, to Derek, to make a deal. 
And he said, well, in television, this is what you make when you do television. So if it's a film, we can multiply that by seven because it's a week. And that will be your figure. So he did, and they accepted it. But when the first check came, I discovered that they'd accepted that as my daily rate. So I suddenly, my my worth went way up through no real abilities of my own, but I was in a very, very comfortable position. And from the great, you know, I did the, I did Freud, I did, then I went to with um, Peter Ustinov into the Mediterranean and did Billy Budd, Terence Stamp's first movie, wonderful sailing around and seeing the, the Nichivo, which was the uh, the yacht that Peter had trying to bring the lunch out and in a sea that was <laughs> we didn't eat lunch that day. <laughs> but um, just wonderful memories of Alicante and that whole time doing Billy Bud. I did the long and the short and the tall, which Peter Tool did on stage, but they thought he'd never make a television actor, a film actor. And so he didn't get the part uh, Lawrence Harvey did. Um, just the movie after movie, I went on a contract with the rank organization, that was something else. I worked with Clive Donner with, on his move, first movie, which was The Secret Place, with Belinda Lee, who was subsequently killed by a driver in Italy who turned out to direct a film that I did in Yugoslavia years later. I mean, so all of this jumble of wonderful, a wonderful career with periods of um, sheer terror when you're out of work. And Catherine, my wife, Catherine, who has always said to me, um, you know, don't worry, something better will come along. But and hopefully, and they did. Um, but my main thrust was in television and television film. Um, movies, I've done some great movies, but not many. And when I look at the screen and I watch actors and I see guys who quit because they think they've done enough television and they become movie stars, and they fall flat on their faces. Um, I think there are people that work better in television than in film um, and make a career out of television wisely, which I think I've done, because I, I work well with a television camera. I, I'm happily, happy coming into people's rooms once a week and behaving the way I do in various characters. But I think predominantly, I would say, I'm a television actor. I love movies, and I love the theatre. 